Hi guys, it's Gareth again here from Neon Cell. So this is the second half. I'm going to show you guys now the Glock 17 Gen 3, uh, fully licensed product by Humorex. Um, this of course is a CO2 pistol. Uh, of course, being a one-to-one -one replica of the Glock 17 Gen 3. Really nice, as this one does feature sort of uh, non-mechanical blowback feature, which is really nice. So as you can see, there immediately off the bat, there's your, it's not a full blowback stroke like you have on an actual Glock firearm or as you'd have on some other KWC pistols which does feature like a full bow backstroke so instead of just uh, racking the slide like this the slide would for example go where my index points all the way like this for example uh, this feature does however feature on the Glock 17 Gen 4 I believe although yeah we don't have stock of that at the moment uh, but yeah really nice um, yeah so off the bat here you have your cocking serration similar to on the Glock 17 Gen 3 uh, your sight, of course, your half sight picture at the rear, some people call it, and your white dot sight there. Um, so you're enough for target acquisition. Your field strip notches, again, are blow molded in uh, on the Gen 3 model, or on the gas gun Gen 3 model, as it is. You know, it's just molded in, but on an actual firearm, you know, you can push it down, uh, push it back one eighth of an inch, and then the slide comes off at the front, etc., etc. So here again, you have your barrel. So you have your recessed barrel here, your 9mm barrel, uh, with your gro grooves and landings around there. And then of course inside there you have your actual smoothbore 4.5mm barrel. And that barrel is, is completely static, it doesn't move unlike on the Glock 19 non-blowback, Gen 3 non-blowback. This one is nice, the slide catch of course as you guys might have surmised does, that is fully functional. Uh, yeah. So, so yeah, so in terms of the trigger, the trigger blades, unlike most blank guns you'd find locally on the market, you know, that has all kinds of knockoff clock triggers, you know, this one actually does look authentic clock you know, So when you of course just like this, you know, this is not the actual trigger weight. So uh, when you do, you know, load up the gun, etc. Right the side for your first shot, so there's your actual trigger pull. So here's your the day the take up, there your trigger breaks. So each shot fired will be, you know, that little bit of, uh, you know, that sort of, sorry, pull up you'll have and then that clean break right there, so each shot. So in this regard, uh, the trigger action, in my opinion, is a bit better on the Glock 17 compared to the Glock 19 that I showed you guys just on, which is, you know, which is really nice, plus per shot fired, uh, the slide will, as you guys might have guessed, will give you this actual simulated uh, recoil feedback, which is really nice. In terms of, okay, so let me go, okay, so here's the magazine, you have a full sized, you know, beefy looking magazine, which again, you have, uh, you have your galvanized iron, this thing for the most part is metal, you guys can hear that, and then of course your polymer butt plate, fully like your licensing there, clock, um, otherwise, yeah, uh, where was I, yeah, um, okay, so, right, so as you guys, so my magazine is out, this is how the ejection port looks like, so this, this is the mechanism, okay, so just not going to fire on the other side, so it can set. I have to manually catch it there. So as you guys might see that, it's not a full, it's not a full cutout uh, ejection port like you'd have on certain blowback models. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's nice enough and that feature actually does interact with the magazine itself. So it's not the best in the world, but it's also nice. And I'll show you guys um, in a moment why, um, you know, despite this sort of feel, you know, feature, there is some plus features this pistol has to compare to other full blowback pistols on the market. And I'll explain that in a moment. So how to load up this here, uh, your magazine follower, just rack it down to the side, push it down there at the bottom, that catches it. So your BB, so it's a funnel like on the Glock 19 Gen 3 uh, non blower pistol, this one, your BB should just chuck in here one at a time, fills up the space here, once you fold, uh, it loads up with 18 by the way, you can release this, and it does come with a sort of multi-tool included as well, which basically also has your hex key head, uh, which you can just uh, push in there, thread this, um, uh, thread this scrub screw all the way down, you put, chuck your CO2 capsule vertically in there, and you just thread it up, pierce the CO2 capsule, etc. Uh, against that seal, there's a piercing nozzle right there, so once it pierces, etc., it seals uh, hermetically, etc., etc. And you can just chuck this, uh, reset this butt plate right here. So the magazine is loaded up. So at first, you know, once your gun is loaded, and you pull the trigger, nothing's going to happen. You have to sort of, you know, 
wrap the slot, but you know, when you do, when there is the magazine is loaded up and you wrap the slot, it's not going to catch lock, it's like a file, you know, the slot will automatically go forward, so your first BB, so to say, is chained. Thereafter, you can fire, and when you fire, of course, you have to, you know, etc., which is really nice. In terms, yeah, in terms of muzzle velocity, here we're looking at about 370 to 380, etc., etc., and that's uh, the beauty of these uh, non mechanical blowback pistols, in that, unlike a full um, blowback pistol, we have this full realistic stroke of blowback, which, you know, has quite a bit of feedback to it and more realism to it as it has a usually your full, fully cut out ejection port, etc. On those, you're looking at about 320, 330 feet per second. Whereas on this one, you get to enjoy some blowback, but you also get to enjoy a higher muzzle velocity. So as a self-defense tool, this might be better suited for your needs compared to something like a KWC uh, blowback pistol, you know, where you have this massive recoil feedback. You know, when you rack this one, you have the realistic sound with the You sound like, of course, not like a blank gun, but it, it's somewhat realistic and it sounds very nice, etc. So, you know, but when you want to use that actually for self-defense, you know, firstly, low muzzle velocity out of the, you know, even with the fresh shipping capsule and in no time at all, like 40 shots or so, because you have this full blowback stroke, you know, 40 shots or so, there your CO2 capsule is depleted, you know, now you have to swap this thing out, you know. As most of guys, most of you know, that has been an actual sort of firefight of any kind, you know. Not, now, I'm not talking about the one-way range, I'm talking about the two-way range now, you know. Uh, when shot, yeah, the, um, the amount of bullets you have or the ammunition on you, you have on your person, you know, is of tender, is, uh, is of significant importance, you know, because the fire, you know, the firefight can carry on for a prolonged period of time, you know. It all determines or depends on how determined your enemy may or may not be. In certain cases, you know, <coughs> like a lot of cases, these uh, people, these organized criminals, etc., come to rob, etc., even if it's just informal crime, you know, he's just here, he's seeing an opportunity now, or maybe it wasn't even planned, you know, he rocks up here at your house, you know, you catch him there in the house, you know, etc., he might decide to, you know, return for shit on you, etc., you know, when you're firing at something like this, you know, it's, it's a, I don't, I don't, you know, promote, you know, you pull this thing out on someone getting a fire on you, but I do promote, you know, uh, take out something rather than taking out nothing. Pull out this out rather than, you know, pulling out a cudgel or something and trying to engage with him in a melee fight against someone with a firearm. This is, this I would say, you know, you have the realism to this. So if you pull this thing out, you know, someone might think, oh, this guy is packing a firearm, etc. And that can be of some benefit to you, you know, not only for intimidation, face value, but also, you know, shooting and you can inflict some damage against him. So, you know, you have the high shot count on these, yeah, on this magazine as well, which is really nice, you know. So, you have the, you'll have higher muzzle velocities for longer on a, uh, on a non-mechanical non blowback system like this compared to a, a full blowback system where, you know, you might have one or two mag loads, you might have a sort of, the, the base that the pistol can offer you and thereafter, you know, your muzzle velocity is, uh, yeah, going for a crash. Otherwise, yeah. Yeah, if the gun is fully licensed by Glock, and I'll show you guys again here. There's your Glock logo, model number, uh, yeah, the country of manufacture, normally it would be Austria. Nowadays you also do get it, like USA, because, you know, USA also uh, manufactures licensed uh, Glocks, or is a licensed Glock manufacturer. Um, also then your caliber markings right there. Serial number on this pistol, it's not white like you'd have, or white print like you'd have on the Glock 19. Which is nice enough, like, you know, on a clock firearm, you don't have a sort of serial number in bold there, right there. So these serial numbers, they're dummy, they're not specific to the, um, I show to the clock pistols. Each one, all of them has the same, all these clock 17s, um, CO2 pistols have the same, um, serial numbers. Joe, uh, that's, yeah, Gamma Uniform Whiskey 017, all of them have that. Uh, then of course, officially licensed product by clock, which of course a clock firearm doesn't have. Uh, in terms of stake down, you have a pin there and there you have a pin. So this is your 3 mil pin and there's your two dummy 3 mil, 4 mil pins. So when you want to do you strip this gun down, you can just punch out that pin using a pin punch on him and then the slide should come off. I haven't tried that though. I've seen on YouTube being done so I assume it can be done like that. Otherwise you have your underbarrel picatinny rail for mounting your favorite clock 17 optics etc. Your O-Light, your Nightcore 
uh, whatever you want to talk on there, you know, there's an option for it. Um, yeah, yeah, whatever you use on your clock, 17 firearm, you should be able to fit right on here. It is, yeah, it is a one-to-one -one replica of a clock 17, so you can hold this next to your clock 17 and you'll see, listen, the difference here, okay, find the weight, is not entirely like the clock 17, but otherwise, cosmetically speaking, you know, it's sort of, yeah. Um, otherwise, yeah, double, okay, so we touched on the trigger, the backs, the checkering here, again, Gen 3 type checkering, your triple row of um, box checkering between the finger grooves or the finger slots, three of them here, and they do feel, for, for me personally, this feels a bit more handy than compared to the Glock 19, uh, just my personal preference, you know, I don't, the Glock 19 is just a bit more finicky, but it conceals better, this one doesn't conceal as nifty, for example, it's a Glock 19, um, but yeah, this is just my cup of tea, personally. Um, uh, here again, you have your ambidextrous thumb rest, don't flat myself there, and then of course here as well, uh, nice curved, the slope back strap here, which you know for your palm is really nice. And then you have this sort of odd, um, the odd angle that the pistol, uh, that the handle is compared to the uh, to the to the actual barrel itself. And a lot of people do complain about it, but if you've actually if you have shot with a clock firearm, you know after some time you get used to it, then you'll start to see the magic or the logic behind what behind its uh, ingenious design. It's really nice. It helps you to really acquire a target like almost instantaneously, which is really nice. Um, yeah, unfortunately the sights do not come off here, so you can't chop your base plate with your um, red dot sight. Uh, they don't make these in MOS either, unfortunately. From what I, although you probably do get the airsoft variants, that do, do come in the MOS variant. Striker fired here at the back, as you guys might have guessed, here also you'll see the feature there, typical um, of a Glock 17, this is just cosmetic of course, but yeah, on the Glock 17 firearm you'd have that as well. In terms of, yeah, so you see two loads up here, your BBs load up here, there's nothing then, yeah, this is all just good old polymer, really nice rigid. Um, oh yeah, yeah, frame of course, polymer slide is some sort of pot metal, I see not steel, of course there's some sort of metal alloy. Probably aluminium and zinc, etc. etc. Finish on these guns tend to be a bit better than your KWC variants. Uh, most of Humorex products, uh, this is made by Humorex, of course, this one and the Glock 19. So the finish on these guns, as well as the quality, as well as, um, yeah, they, how shall I say, they won't leak as easily as like your KWCs and etc. your Gorillas, etc. So when you do buy a Humorex uh, branded CO2 pistol, you can be assured, you know, even if you keep the CO2, you know, pierced in here for long periods of time, which of, we of course do not uh, recommend doing. In fact, we dis, uh, we uh, we highly advise against that. Uh, you know, the the gun won't start leaking in no time at all. Really nice. Um, otherwise, yeah, I really like this pistol. Uh, yeah, there is some sort of play on there. Look, this is not a precision fire shooting instrument. It's this bit of play is not the end of the world. Uh, you know, you, have, you can use this in terms of muzzle energy. We're looking at a 2.7, 2.8 joules of energy. So, you know, shooting a 5 to 5.4 grain uh, steel shot. You should be expecting like 370, maybe 380 on a hot day. You can push maybe 390 feet per second, etc. Which for something like this, you know, semi-automatic gun, you can just etc. You know, for self-defense or just for general clinking purposes or just for range fun, etc. You know, it's really nice. Um, otherwise, yeah, I do highly recommend this pistol. Um, if you, yeah. So the price tag we're looking at this is two triple nine. Uh, included for that price, you'll get the gun. You'll get ten CO two cap, twelve gram CO two capsule, and you get one thousand five hundred steel BBs for that price. Not a bad deal. If you're asking a lot of other people are chucking it out for like four, maybe even five. Same make a model Humorex gun. You guys can even check the Humorex manufacturer skew on the website uh, compared to what the competition is offering. For example. Uh, you know, really so good. Look, we used to sell this for like two, four, but you know, of course, pricing everything just perpetually goes up. So we are trying to cut on the price as best as we can for you guys. But you know, to a certain extent, you know, we also try to keep our doors open, etc. So you know, yeah, uh, really nice pistol. I do highly recommend this option if you guys are looking for self-defense weapon or just you know, everyone wants to be you know tactical. You know, have you just 
in the slide. Tickling, you know, it's just a fun toy to have around and it can be used for self-defense. Okay, that's about it.